Hello YouTube, if you guys are waiting for the Mi 6 on one, OnePlus One, it's finally here. I'm using that version only, if you go to the settings menu, about phone, I can find, I'm using Mi 5.4.27, which is basically Mi 6 only, which is based on Android 4.4.4. And talking about the ROM, the Android is more flat themes and icons in this Mi 6 rather than 3D effects and you can see this is the notification area pull down it will get that and there is, here is the toggles options here and there is an addition there is a music button you can directly play and pause and skip this track from here and there is a icon here which allows you to direct the settings menu so that's about, about the interface as well and then Talking about the camera, they are using the Cyanogen stock camera. But the image they already also support the 4K video, so no issues with that. Nothing new. And the uh, gallery app, music application, as I already said. Tapping it, I can go to music setting and offline you should see the all the all my songs here. So that's about the music and themes. You look deep into the settings okay before that here is the task manager if you pinch and make it big you can make it big and you can see the previous here rather than seeing an, a small icon you can pinch like this to see zoom so this is pretty cool this is one main cool options I see in this room besides that if you go to the settings menu you can find all the regular options in the first section and then notification area, notification settings, wallpaper, remote disturb service, lock screen options. These are the lock screen. And then privacy. In privacy you can see the permissions. In additional settings can see all these additional settings the account all the accounts in this section and then system apps like me um, cloud call settings contacts message mail security gallery all the system app settings you can access from here you can see the install app like app manager Basically that's all about the settings option, nothing great. And there is one more problem with this ROM is that there is no double tap to switch off or double tap to wake up. You have to press the power button to double tap so that thing I can't adjust with. So I prefer you better flash it on a multi ROM rather than flashing it as the main primary ROM. You can see other software, so this is the dialer and then contacts application, this is in a browser and then messaging application as well. And then in tools you can see all the MUI packed applications, nothing new, nothing worth sharing and in security settings you can do all the clearing, data usage, block list and wire scan and even give the root access and all if you flash a super issue and other notes whether all these Chinese based apps doesn't make sense to us anyway so basically this is all about the ROM actually I had that over excitement when I see the MIUI version 6 released but uh, I'm not at all impressed with these settings I'm looking forward for the future updates which might include more stable and with more features. If 
you want to know how to install this from there is a link in the description to show you that just go and check it out that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more